Hey everybody, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. We're playing as King Werner of Lodringen, who uh, still doesn't have a really firm grasp on his kingdom. If we take a quick look in the control overview and uh, assigning our marshal to improve control is the only way I can get into this view that I know of anyway. Uh, we got a couple of counties that really have rather low control and we got to fix this before we go expand too much more um, we do want to get a couple claims though at least one i think is uh, prudent to get and that is here on the um, on the duchy of hessen since we already have one county in here oh, okay we need three i was in the impression that we need two <clears throat> okay so we want these two um because we can get them off uh, the duke of angria who is allied to duke reinbern of anhalt who also happens to be his heir i think yes it is his heir Hmm, I wonder what we can do with that combination. Actually, he doesn't have any children. Hang on there. Duchy of Angria. He doesn't have children. Next in line is Duke Reinbern of Anhalt. Who also doesn't have children. And then it is... Is that the wife... No, it's the the sister. Okay, so the sister. Oh, homosexual sister. Well, <laughs> they won't have any children either. He has a bit of a problem on his hands. Count Magnus of Göttingen is next. Hmm. So if we can get up to him here, make him a vassal, we could help him in power, but we gotta murder our way through half the family. I'm not sure <clears throat> that is in Werner's nature. He is pretty decent at intrigue and getting better, and he is deceitful. So there's that. Anywho. Um, in any way, Angria is a, a nice enemy to fight. They, they're not that strong. Together with their allies, um, they can muster around 4,000 men. So, I think we're going to creep our way up here. And try and get... Yeah, it's going to take a while anyway. Try and get uh, three counties in here, and then we can claim Marburg from our beloved Kaiser. Whoever that's going to be at this point then. Okay, now uh, there's that. Now, we do have the decision available to found a holy order. And uh, I've been... I didn't see this last episode, so uh, we have this episode. And I think we're gonna do this. I've been reading around a while what the Holy Orders actually do, and there's not too much. Um, they will set up a headquarter in my kingdom, and I'll have to dedicate a county for them to put their headquarters in. And we then get to hire them here from the Holy Orders, which, if you have a Holy Order for the Catholic faith, is rather difficult to do because there's a million and one Catholic rulers here that will hire it before you can usually. That was a complaint that I read. Not sure if that is still true in this patch because the complaint is a little bit old. But the thing you can do, and that's why I will try it, is you can have people take the vow and fight in the Holy Order and effectively take them out of succession. So my plan here is... Um, if we get an undesirable heir, we can get rid of them that way. Of course, it also ties into us having fought in a couple of crusades. And we do have the 1000 prestige it requires. And we can put them in Schwitz. Though I think I'll put them in my homeland in the city of Tübingen. Tübingen or Bonn? Hmm. Offenburg would also be okay. Tübingen is kind of fitting though. I think we'll 
put them to Tübingen. And we'll find out what we can do with them. With your support, Grandmaster Erich has founded the Knights Hospitaler. That is a quite a costly endeavor there. But apparently they pay me back. Oh, Dynasty of Many Crowns. And what is the requirement? Okay. Um, they will try and lease lands from me, uh, which doesn't do anything to me, but will bring me a good chunk of money. Practically the amount that I spent for them for the first time. And then over the lifetime of this order, it will bring me more money than I invested. That was... Um, oh, I can borrow gold from them as well. And I can revoke their lease. And we should now have them available here. Yes, we have. Okay. So that is one thing. And the hope here is we can go to the court and take our beloved Count Heinrich. Ah, damn it. <laughs> I wanted to have him take the vows, but we can't. This sucks. Well, we can't have Kaiserin Constanza. I can recruit her. What weirdness is this? She's been a guest for 14 years now. Um, <laughs> not sure if I want her on my court. Okay, so we don't have that option. That was the, the hope I had that I could send my rivals to take the vows and then they can't. Especially Manigold, um, he's a pretty good fighter. He could bring some glory to that order, but apparently... We can host another feast, and I think we'll do it because we're still very stressed. Um, Count Heinrich wants to be ransomed for 50. Yeah, fine. We'll, we'll have to do it. I mean, there's nothing else I can do to them. I can't execute them, really. I, I could get a couple weak hooks, but that doesn't really help me much, and it's not in my... Not what I wanted to do. And we'll just get 35 stress reduced. Every time my wife Queen Svanhild finds me bent over a tome, she gets visibly excited. Would you like some help with your studies? Someone to exchange ideas with or perhaps some new tomes? I recently acquired a volume with an excellent analysis, analysis of metaphysical conundrums. Um, yeah. She is a master. Yep, sure. I'll appreciate your... I gained studying learning for 10 years instead of her. Um, and where does that say that? Here. Learning plus 3. So we're now at 31 learning. Which brings us quite a bit <coughs> of piety, excuse me. Anyway, so we'll uh, have a party again. And we now finally no longer have that uh, stress level so hopefully we can we can have it stay that way um and well after the party we're gonna do some dirty business the high table breaks Ooh. the great table seating the upper nobility on the days gave a loud crack and a moment later it gave in on the weight of the food and the gilded decoration <laughs> um, and that made us somehow a friend in Count Adema of Sundgau. Well, ain't that cute. Adema and I ended up talking all evening. Reed should be not the last time we feasted and laughed in each other's company. Well, that's cute. We have a friend now. <sighs> we can't find any secret on King Jan either. So I'm feeling this... Uh, what a man. Count Adema... Eager reveler. Oh, sure. Very nice. Okay, so now we got even more intrigue. Um, Count Manigold. The Holy Order expands. Okay. Interesting. What can I do with you? Send a gift, and that's about it. 
order member plus one marshal yeah but he's still a pretty bad fighter but oh my goodness does he have a good marshal skill could you be my my marshal that would be nice grand master of an order be my marshal i mean i would like that anyway count manigold i mean your betrayal really stings hmm yeah i guess we'll we'll take the money we've been spending a bit um and if we do that we can at least take the rest of the money it kind of annoys me a bit that i cannot do with my prisoners as i please but yeah well i'll go i'll get over it somehow <laughs> some way and we're about to yes we finished promote culture so that should we're now Swabian here. Um, actually, you are also Swabian. Okay, very good. So, oh, we have a knight arriving. 20! Yup! Please come and fight for me. Uh, Recruit to court. 45, sure. That is just one ransom. Um, No, that's not what I wanted. What did I want to do? I wanted to... No, that was what I wanted. Let's check. We still have a control problem here. Popular opinion, zero. Hmm. Well, that didn't go the way I wanted to, but uh, we collect taxes. And our investment already paid off. He started off with 13. And he's now at 14 stewardship. Grown a bit in one year. And he's a fortune builder, so he'll get some more skill in that regard. And hopefully we'll pay the fate we put in him. Imgard comes of age. I'm proud to see my daughter no longer a child, but as an adult. For the longest time I was hoping that the good tutelage would be enough to teach Imgard the intricacies of any kind of scholarship. All efforts have come to naught, though hardly studiosis, she at least... Hardly studios... Hardly studious. She at least managed to memorize certain choice quotes from the classics. Uh, she will probably never write any great theorems, but she might read one or two. Now that is weird, because she's been under tutelage from our wife, who is a mastermind philosopher genius. And Irmgard is also a genius, with 15 learning already at her age of 16. So that is... Uh, yeah, we just drew the short stick there. That is really weird. Inspirational queen, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't like that that can happen, actually. <sighs> just keep it up for a minute. I'll find a new task for you. Really don't like that this can happen. Because she's, I mean, really a genius in truth. We need to find a good spouse for her now and i did look around that is not an easy task prince hardwin you are my heir already so why would i need county of bremen and bremen is loyal to angria indeed He does not really have any claims there, though. Ulm, Württemberg, Cologne, Weisgau, yeah, that is Fürstenberg, Grisson, where is that? Oh, down here, okay. Zürich, that is all our stuff. He does not have any claims. Um, so I'll look into it from time to time, but I don't really... Don't really care for that. Oh, I can vassalize Countess Charlotte. Uh, sure, that is her. I forgot. Um, she's sitting here. Currently independent. Greetings, my handsome liege. I accept your gracious offer of vassalization. And there we go. Plus one vassal. Don't mind if I do. Because uh, she is under the kingdom of Loching. And here's another one that is currently under French rule uh, that could come under ours though they're not independent so they don't really have that option but these here have the option the duchy of bar 
we should actually be able to yeah we should be able to declare war on there sadly that doesn't really interest me at all i mean we already have the kingdom of lothringen i want the kingdom of germany under my rule and uh, for that we need different lands we need them off of Nordgau and we need them off of Angria since we can't really get any lands off of Nordgau. Okay. So my plans for... Oh, greetings to my impressive liege. Hereby invite you to a feast at my court in Berg. Mm -hmm. It will be a grand affair worthy of your honorable presence. Uh, sure. I'll accept any feast invitation. Don't mind if I do. And we have another knight arriving, 17 marshal, quite young. Quite a magnificent beard. I will recruit you to my court for 30. Well, these knights have been gotten much, much cheaper. <clears throat> Very nice. Um, religious convictions. Okay, so I can convince you Not really. Um, I mean, we could spend some prestige. Okay, so the worst that could happen is we just lose 75 prestige. So yeah, we'll, we'll try. And there we go. We don't need to sway him anymore. Because he does kind of like us now. Cannot wait to talk to everyone. Yes, so... Uh, we have that now. And we uncovered some secrets. I thought there are none to uncover. Lover secret. Someone's illicit lover. Who's that someone? I want to know. Um, Where did I want to look? I wanted to look in my realm. My vassals. Are there any that really don't like me? Duke Hartwig of Upper Lorraine. Doesn't like me so much. Not clear why, but uh, we might sway you a bit. Yeah, that does have a nice chance of success. So let's do that. Feasts. Ah, there's nothing like a feast. It reminds us all of what is good in life, and the company is not too bad either. At least one of the seated close to me seemed to think so. You are something special, Werner, Countess <laughs> Sigalis tells me. Duchess and Count nod their heads in agreement. Duchess Gaut Lindis and Count Abelard. So Abelard. Okay. Because I have this and it does... Oh, very nice. More stress reduction. Great. I'm already approving of that decision. Man, this episode is, uh, has been very relaxing for... King Werner. Okay. Count Adalbert of Berg has an affair with somebody I really don't care about. Um, speaking of... Oh, here. Intrigue, hooks and secrets. Prince Bishop's lover... Kunigunde's lover. I don't care about any of those. Uh. Yeah, that is a bit of a problem. Okay, so what I think we'll do is just attack um, Angria. They only have that one alliance. And they do have a nice bit. Oop. Hang on. Sorry, there's my phone. So, um, they do have a, I do have a couple claims on them, um, mostly Valdek here. So I think we'll, we have our full 6,000 men strength, so I think we'll just, um, yeah, just take a little bit of territory while we're sitting around. We'll lose 25 opinion, but we'll do just that. And then we'll have our armies raised here. Bum, bum, bum. 
I'm raising one up here. What's the one goal? Oh, we're still on the feast. Okay. Um, as one plate of food is replaced by the next, my acquaintance scout Lindis goes on and on about the rumors at court. And that's about how we salvage that, man. I'm sure. No, 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 no. Please do go on. And we can have an interesting conversation, get more diplomacy in learning, or we can lose more stress. And we go to forming a friendship. She's a known criminal already. Yeah, why not get another friend? Um, the stats would be technically better, but we are gregarious and it does reduce our strikes. So let's go with that option. Okay, now what do we have for army commanders? Emmerich of Grüningen sits here. And Adema of Sundgau. Who likes us more? You don't like us too much. Okay, so you can be the one leading the armies. Um... Let's merge him up. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we can't really march into their land so easily. So we'll just go ahead and siege the Valdeck. And... City, city... Bishopric, we can siege this one here, right? That should work out. Returning home from the feast, we lose 55 stress. Okay. Far the well. Okay, so it looks like they're coming for, for us. Um, let's stay down here and lure them into a fight. A new translation. More than anything, my quest to be a learned man is teaching me how much I do not know yet. What more? I must be so much knowledge that has been lost to the ages as book has fallen apart or languages are forgotten. Perhaps I could contribute by making a new translation of one of the classic works. Hmm. We can translate Aristotle's physics, which is a pretty interesting read. Learning plus one, and we might gain a perk. The Court of Agriculture. This sounds so hard. Um, no, I think we, we do like a good challenge. We do like a good task. And we're going to go with the classic of science, Aristotle's, Aristotle's uh, physic, physics. Very good. Okay, so what are you doing? They are attacking. Yes, yes, yes. Very, very good. That was my hope. Hello there. We have an additional 3,000 men that could help out in this fight. Whoops. Hang on. What happened here? You inherited the Holy Roman Empire from Kaiser Berthold of the Holy Roman Empire. What? You became the culture head, yeah, obviously. You are now a Kaiser. What? The Lothringen claim on the county of Waldeck has ended. Duke Sisa no longer controls any of the claimed counties. second <laughs> hang on a second we will now rule the holy roman empire that is uh, that is an interesting turn of events let's say it like that and we can now create the kingdom of germany I don't even know how I'm, I'm completely speechless. Like, how did that? How did that happen? It 
There's still elections ongoing, right? You have not cast your vote for the heir, title heir of the Holy Roman Empire. And your primary heir is of the wrong dynasty. How many votes do we have? Three. Prince Hardwin, yeah, that is my son and the heir. He's ranked 20. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> How many? He has six. King Jan, Duke Rapotto, and Duke Hartwig. Okay. Why would you count something of somewhere? Okay, we gotta deal with this. Um, with this succession problem. Close family claimants and electors. Mm -hmm. And of course we gotta give our vote to our son who is currently in the 20th place. I could actually now make it so that the genius of the bunch would get the vote. Prince Otto following Werner. But it might be hard for him to get more votes as he's only 12 years old. Yeah, we have to think about this. Um, but for two reasons. Number one, well, I would love to play as a steward for one, actually. So... Um, that is nice, but it's in favor of our Prince Hardwick because if he has a genius schemer, yeah, Otto does his own thing, has little regard for others. He's a glutton and uh, he might get one more rambunctious trait. And then you have this guy in your backyard scheming and working to overthrow or murder my heir. That might not be the most stable situation. It might be better to give it to him outright because he's very capable of being a ruler. But yeah, we gotta we gotta sort this. That was a bit a bit quick. <laughs> let's uh, let's say it like that. Um, so we have the kingdom of Lodzingen now, and we'll definitely get the kingdom of Germany. So that even if we lose the Holy Roman Empire, we have that under our belt, and then we'll see what we can do to uh, solidify our grasp on the Empire. Guys, uh, that was a surprising, very, very surprising end to the episode. Uh, we're going to disband the armies and I'm uh, going to call it quits here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, I'll see you around for the next one and you have a wonderful day and uh, I'll go uh, get my head clear now. Wow. Holy Roman Empire. What do you know? <laughs> Until next time, guys.